out of the window. Just in case you're watching the replay, I'll do this now. No one's hooked up live yet. This is for Mom's secret chili recipe, or it could be Grandma's, I don't remember. <clears throat> hey, what's up there, Michael? Just going to make up Grandma's famous chili recipe here in a minute. Woo, I'm going to cry of these onions in a minute. Good thing I pre-chopped them up. I was bawling my eyes out a minute ago. Hey, Charlie, not a secret no more, I know. Basically, <clears throat> I'm going to go over this just for people who watch the replay. But you take a one heaping uh, teaspoon, well, you start off with in the pan, you're going to cook up one onion and one green pepper. And you dice them up, chop them up, dice them up. And with that, you're going to put a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. I mean, you can cut up your own, or you can be lazy like Grandma and get it out of the jar. And then uh, you mix the garlic with the onions and peppers, cook them up for a little while. Then you're going to add that pound of Hamburg, cook that all up, make sure it's cooked. Then we'll start adding our cans. We got one pound and three quarter, which is a 28 ounce petite diced tomato can. And then we got a uh, 14 and a half ounce diced tomatoes with zesty green chili peppers in them. Really good stuff. And you get a can of uh, Bush's uh, 16 ounce one pound baked beans, vegetarian baked beans. You're going to need a heaping teaspoon of chili powder. And like I said, just a half a teaspoon of the minced garlic while we're cooking up the onions here. So we'll get started with that in case you wanted to see the recipe. Real quick, you can pause it and look at it after. One onion, one green pepper, chopped. A pound of hamburger, cook. A plain can of diced tomatoes, diced tomatoes with chilies. Smaller can, then a can of vegetarian baked beans. And simmer for 45 minutes. And don't forget, you're going to need uh, chili powder, minced garlic, and a half a teaspoon. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's get started. Fire up the stove. Here we go. It's been a while. Turn the fan on just in case. There it goes. All right. Woo. You can turn it down though. Make sure you got a clean pan all ready to go. I put a little Batoli uh, spray oil in there. Just to cook up and let that heat up. Get that going. Uh oh. The old sticker board stays here without falling. Let's see what happens. Turn this fan down to low. Hope you guys can hear me okay still. Hey, North Jersey Detectives in the house. What's up, Jason? Can't wait to see you in a couple weeks, bud. Who else is here? Digging it back, Charlie. MS Detectorist. Just cooking up mom's famous uh, chili recipe here. You gotta try it, it's super awesome, especially in the winter. All right, get this hot. Open this up, get some garlic going. You can get chopped garlic, minced garlic, or cut up your own. Or be lazy like grandma and just take it out of the jar. All right, just a half a teaspoon. A little bit with the oil down the bottom here. I don't cook that much, especially with garlic. I don't know why, but. All right. Yeah, I can hear it. Hear it sizzling up now. Move it around a little bit. Oh, yeah. Got it going good. What's up? What's what's what, what, I'm sorry. Hold on. Who who all is going next Sunday? Oh, hold on. I'll get the list. I got the list, Jason. I'm coming, bud. Let me turn this down so I don't burn nothing. Who did I cry when I cut this onion up? Whoo! Okay, don't do that. All right. Get my stirring spoon. Got to turn this up a little bit. Get it going good. All right, Jason, you ready? It's gonna be you and me, Ozzy, Darren, Auden, Rachel, 
Shane, Northeastern Booty Hunter. Uh, Nancy, Ambient Girl Relic Hunter. Kay's digging it, and her friend Mary. Um, Joe from Copperheads. I invited Jared from uh, Swinging Over History 79. I don't know if Jazzy Jeff can make it yet. I think that would be about it. So. Mikey the Hungry Man just watching out and Chili hits his belly. <laughs> I thought for sure some, uh, Rob Random and like Michael's here from the UK. Figure a few more would jump on. All that. No, it's not all for one person. I make it for all week. I freeze a couple containers. And then I can take it out and have it for work and stuff. What the what? Somebody's sneaking around. <laughs> All right, we stir that a little more and add the peppers. Turn this down a little bit. Add some peppers. Sweet. Let that cook down. Turn it up just a hair. Alright. Sorry if I missed any chat. Hey Mud Swat, how you doing, bud? Yeah, chili. Mom's famous. Whoo, pound of hamburg. I was gonna use chicken this time, but daughter says she wasn't gonna eat it anyway. She wanted shrimp and rice. So I'll make her shrimp after this, but I said, well, in that case I'll make the hamburg one. So I'm gonna add that stuff in a minute after this thing gets going. Let's get these veggies going. I won't be over here so I won't be able to see the chat too much. Hope you all had a good day. Yeah, I might go to Pound the Ground too this weekend. I don't know yet. My daughter's staying overnight now, so I think I'm going to have her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's late afternoon, so I might not make it. I got to do the live stream tomorrow night. Actually, I have a live premiere tonight at 7 o'clock. Woo, starting to smell good in here. It's going to take a while. bring you over just to give you a little sneak peek mm. all right get that cooking down good Dun -dun. checking the chat real quick definitely chili what chili season yeah chicken chili I know I never heard of it either but I figure if I make chicken chili, I have a chance of my daughter eating it. I know I never heard of it either, but I see people use chicken, chicken or a turkey burger in their chili instead of the beef, but that's a sin too. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's, it's not supposed to be healthy. I, know, I hear you. Oh, it smells good. I'm going to push this stuff to the side. Now let this go a little longer. It says cook it on medium until it gets going, so I guess I can turn it up a little bit. Ooh, that smells so good. Whole neighborhood's going to smell good soon. The fan being on, and uh, I got both doors open. The breeze is blowing through. Uh, sticker board. I think I won't be able to night. All the cards fell down. I finally got them cleaned up, put away. Got a couple mail calls to do uh, Saturday before the stream tomorrow night. One of them is from Rick and Marty, from Oak Island. They got a new venture going on right now. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Some of you may have heard about it already. Oh, it smells so good. Cooking 
too. Let's throw a Hamburg in. All right, got a pound of Hamburg here. Put the gloves on real quick. This should fry pretty good. Make sure that piece don't go in, huh? Mm. Eh, you know what? That's not in the recipe. I'm going to add a little bit of this Montreal steak season in there with the hamburg. <laughs> Give it a little bit of flavor. While it's frying up there. Woo! Uh, yep, put the garlic in with the nice the chopped up onions and peppers. Cook that up a little bit. And add the hamburg. Let that go for a little bit. Once all the hamburgs browned up, we'll start adding the diced tomatoes, the diced tomatoes with chilies, and the vegetarian baked beans. Once that's all done, I have a teaspoon of chili powder. Heaping teaspoon. Oh, garbage. That's right, I moved it close by. All right. That's in there. Oh, if you guys could only smell it. Mm-mm-mm. And then once it's all cooked up like that, once I add all the cans and stuff, and then the uh, chili powder, I'm just gonna let it simmer for like 45 minutes. That's all. Oh, nice, browning right up. Sneak peek. Woo. Browning on the bottom already. I'll turn it over. All right. This is it. This is Graham's famous chili recipe. I didn't get a chance to go out hunting today. Probably not going to get a chance tomorrow. I was hoping to get to Rhode Island to see everybody say hi. I don't think that's going to happen. But I get to see them all next week. I get out. I'm waiting on a call back from two people that have uh, cellar holes on their private property. Hoping to hear back from them soon. If not, I went and uh, checked out something today in Portland, next town over from me. And down this one road, I must have counted 30, 18 to 7, 17, 75 was the oldest one I saw a plaque on. But they go all the way up to the 1800s. This is just a back road. So I'm going to go uh, 
on the assessor's map for that town, see if I can get some names and Google them, and get some phone numbers. Start calling people, see if I can get some permissions. Instead of going right out and door knocking, you know. Oh, it smells good in here. in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it up real nicely. I have a couple big clumps in there. I like to have a big couple of clumps of hamburger here while you're eating your chili. Oh, it smells so good. I still gotta wait 45 minutes for it to simmer though. We had smell o vision. Um, about another three minutes, I can start adding the cans of stuff, probably. Something easy to do, especially in the wintertime. Great for the Super Bowl. Not that I'll be watching it this year. Great for the Daytona 500. Not that I'll be watching it this year. Steam burn off. Some of that moisture burn off there. I'll add a can of tomatoes. <clears throat> you guys hungry yet? That one steamed up my glasses. simple. And I'll tell you what, it's one of the best tasting chilies I've ever had. I never made it before. I tried making my own. Yeah, nowhere close. Every time my mom makes chili, she saves me a little container of it. Of course, I gotta go have it every time. Delicious. Sometimes you put, uh, sprinkle some uh, cheddar cheese on it, some kind of a uh, shredded cheese. Pretty good too. Stir this all back together. Burn it off quickly. Let me get that can of. I'm gonna open it first. I think we should be able to open these with my fingernails. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I yeah, still can. Sweet. There we go. That is one can of uh, diced tomatoes. We'll give that a stir in real quick. Mm. Make sure 
showed you probably. Get that all stirred up and then we add the other can. Who is it? I'm in the shower. It says, uh, Ozzy says, hey Mikey, check your comments. You got a super chat. Oh, thanks, bud. I will right now. Somebody sent me a super chat. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm going back, still going back. Wow, the chat's going good. What went too far, I guess. I don't see it now. Going back the other way. Wow, it is quite a bit of chat. Still going back. Oh, there it is. $60 from Charlie. Run number game three times tomorrow. Oh, you got it, brother. You're awesome. Three times, each person will get four rolls, Charlie. That's, tw that's 12 rolls total. Thank you, sir. You're awesome. Awesome, awesome. Sweet. That's Mark Thomas. He's probably telling me the same thing now. Thank you, Mark. I'll check that afterwards, though. I don't like opening up my uh, Facebook Messenger. My, my text one works good with my phone number because it comes right up. I don't have to open nothing. But the Messenger one, I have to, I have to open the app, and it slows down my live stream. Wow. This is almost looking like goulash. You guys remember goulash? Hey, Jeep and John, how are you? All right, let me add this other can of diced tomatoes with chili peppers. Oh, let me open it first. Hold on. That's the uh, diced tomatoes that has the chili peppers already in it. Really good. Wow. It's got pretty good, I think. Let that simmer. And then we'll uh, add the uh, vegetarian. You know I want to add the chili powder now. to worry about it. Ma says put a whole heaping teaspoon in. So we get a heaping teaspoon of some chili powder. All right. Hey, I got a new spice to my spice rack. Chili powder. I had to buy more cinnamon too. I had to refill my cinnamon and sugar mix. I got cinnamon and chili powder today. All right, let me stir this in real good. Chili powder. Alright. Sometimes I just put chili powder on my uh, hamburger when I cook it up for tacos and stuff. Makes it pretty good. Right, once this burns off a little bit, it'll thicken up a little more. Oh, who is it? Ozzy says, hey, Mikey, could you send Jason your cell phone number? He only has your, your landline. Hey, Jason, is he on here right now? Jason, are you on right now? Jason, are you on right now? Uh, I think I just saw him. Yep, hey, it's 860. You got that first part? 712. Get that second part? Eight five seven four. Alright. If you need it again, I'll I'll get it to you after. Actually send me a test text. I'll tell you if I get your test text right now. While I'm streaming. Ooh, look at that folks. That chili's looking good. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. Once I, that starts to simmer again, I'll add that last can of vegetarian baked beans there, bushes. We'll check it out. I didn't get no test, test 
check yet their uh, or test test text year yet uh, jersey this one says it's Jason I, I got it bud you're all set now I got your number sweet yep everyone write this down who's listening who's coming uh, next Sunday we're gonna meet 7:30 a.m. but I'll hang out to 8 o'clock in case you're late but 7:30 a.m. at the uh, Dunkin Donuts on Main Street in Colchester Connecticut that's Dunkin Donuts Main Street Colchester Connecticut 7:30 a.m. hey Dickin Connecticut Liz is in the house good to see you Liz Rivendell Coins and Antique, good to see you, Jonathan. Nick Haas is in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Oopsie. Fat fingered it. I hate when that happens. Ozzy Darren. What's up, dude? <laughs> this one's from. Your auto warranty is about to expire. Yeah, it is. You know why? I got 937,000 miles on my car. Nobody will give me an extended warranty. Put some more chili powder in there. All right, if you say so. Just because you said so. There we go. Woo. Hey, I didn't even taste it yet. Let me give it a quick stir. Oh my God. Woo. I can freeze two containers, have one tonight, and probably two more in the fridge. One for tomorrow night. Mm, I'm going to freeze three. I got about five containers worth in here. Daughter says she wants shrimp and rice for dinner, so I guess she's not having chili. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, I guess I can add this last can of beans. Let me open it real quick. Ozzy says, as the same Dunkin' Donuts last time. You got it, Ozzy. Same one. We're going to be going probably within a mile or two. Well, probably within a mile of where we went last time. It's the same thousand acres, but on the other side of the reservoir. Should be a fun time, Oz. Wait till you see this place. This is the one that me and uh, Jazzy Jeff went to for uh, less than an hour. I found that 1808 first classic year, the classic head, large scent. Then he cut his finger. We had to go. And I haven't been back since. So, and then and also within walking distance of that cellar hole is the cellar hole where he found the watch fob. I found the full harmonica reed and I found Jesus on the cross and the funky doorknob plate, the eagle button, and a bunch of stuff. So we can check that one out too. We were only there for an hour and a half probably. And the leaves are coming down now so things are starting to die. Woods are opening up. Same amount of cobwebs, though. Oh, Jesus. All right, let me stir those beans in real quick. And I'll call this chili just about done. Just have to simmer it for about 45 minutes. Mm. Oops, sorry, guys. I'm concentrating on stirring the chili than what you were looking at. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I like to see, a big chunk of meat like that once in a while. Ooh, all right. Let me get my, I think it's hot enough. Let me just get my spoon and taste this real quick. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. I'll let you know if it needs more chili powder.
Oh, heck yeah, more chili powder. Yeah, that was definitely not enough. Whoop. There we go. Now I got some chili powder. You stir that in. The old figure eight. This is a pretty sight. Ooh. I don't know what do you think. You think you would try my chili? I would have butter buns, of course. <laughs> I even have shredded cheese with sour cream. Maybe even some chives to sprinkle on the top. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of does. And vegetarian beans cancel the meat out. That way, there you can still, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Paul, Woolen American Woolen Relics is here. Good to see you, Paul. Kidney beans? No, vegetarian. I like. Oh, kidney beans are okay. I don't. I don't. She used to put kidney beans in, and then people stopped eating it as much, or they wouldn't finish it. But now she puts just the vegetarian beans in. Yeah, there's nothing left. Let me turn this fire down a little bit. All right, I'm going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes now. So how many yeses did I get? I forgot to count. You would take 12 beers for you to try my chili jersey? Are you serious? You wouldn't try my chili? It'd take you 12 beers? Well, cheers on the beers. Oh, a crusty Portuguese bun. Oh, man. I was thinking about maybe a pumpernickel one. And put some cheese on top. I don't know. Marble. Marble's good. I don't know. Let me just go for a bulky roll now. Toasted bulky roll. With chili on it. Like a sloppy joe. Mmm, sloppy joes. I haven't had them in ages. Just going back in the chat real quick. Make sure I didn't miss anything. If I did, I'm sorry. You can ask me again. I know. It's always good to find Jesus. I love finding religious pendants. I was mad because uh, Jazzy Jeff. What did I do with it now? I saw the hole where I found Jesus. You know, he found this watch fob from the Great Seal of New York. Yeah, let me put a little nose wax on that pretty cool it's got the Indian and the uh, revolutionary guy it says the great seal of the state of New York watch fob and two weeks later he goes here Mike you can have it oh thanks bud so I bought one on eBay that had the strap took the strap put it on now it's my key fob oh, I like it so thank you Jeff so yeah, the, the little sites on that uh, on that private thousand acres there, seen all of them seem to be producing so far. There's like six more that I haven't been able to go and check out yet. So those hunts will be coming in the future. No one's been there over the years, so I doubt if anybody's gonna be hunting on them. So oh god, this chili smells awesome. Ooh. Oh, nice jaw, Stan. That's awesome to hear. Oh, dude, was that the one he just had in his video? I watched his video, was it this morning, last night? He shows an old property, and he found some, uh, what did he find on it? I don't know, but I like the way he does his videos, that, that uh, how it turns the 
real picture or video into like a picture. It was pretty cool, but he found some nice relics there. It's a whole cleanup crew going, Stan. Nancy going too. I just chatted with her on text a little while ago, but I don't know. If, I think she's on her way home from work. Renaissance wax. Is that what you're looking for there, Jason? The Renaissance wax. That the stuff? See, we got a pretty tin cover. Look at that, huh? Ah, Auto focus ain't working. Somebody set the timer. I set it for 30 minutes now. When this is done, I'm ready to eat. I'm get my spoon again, wash it off, and then try it with that extra chili powder in there. See how it come out. Ooh. Got a little pepper, a little onion, a little tomato. Oh, I didn't get a bean. Oh, that's good. A little soupy still. Gotta burn off some of that moisture. That should be ready. Oops. Sorry I did it again to you. Oops, did it again to you. You guys just want to watch it cook? Walmart might have it. I got mine on Amazon.com. Just looked it up and they sent it right to me. That was the stuff you were looking for. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you guys want to write it down again, hold on. I'll put it right here. Make sure you have a chili powder. Make sure you got a minced garlic. Like I said, you can cut it yourself or uh, get, get it out of the jar. One onion, one green pepper, a pound of hamburg. One can of uh, 28 ounce of uh, plain diced tomatoes. And then a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with chilies. And a can of vegetarian baked beans. Cook up the uh, garlic, onion, pepper first. Then uh, add the hamburg, get that all browned. And just add your cans. Chili powder, stir it up. Let it simmer for 45 minutes. Let me know what you think. Love it. I'm gonna let it simmer with the top off just to let some of that moisture out. Mmm. You have a plate? Oh, you might need a bowl, buddy. It's a little runny right now. <laughs> bring bring your bowl. What does that say? I missed it. I'm not a chili person, Mike, but it does look good. Oh, thanks there, Jonathan. I was going to make it, you can make it with turkey burger, or you can make it with, uh, I was going to use uh, that grilled chicken pieces that you put in like a Caesar salad. I got a two pound bag of frozen stuff. I was going to use that, a pound of that instead of the hamburger. Have like a chicken chili. Put some leftovers in the next month price pack. All right, I'll freeze it today there, Mark Thomas, and then I'll send it. With, I'll ship it with dry ice. Should be good to go. 
All right there, Michael. We'll see you later, buddy. Network issues. Thanks for stopping in, brother. Always great to see you, my friend. Hey, that little jar back there. All the coins in it. That's everything I found in the coin star this year. Two years ago, I had a great year. $27, 28 silver coins. Last year, I found like $14 on whatever's in there for this year, 2020 so far. Got a few silver coins out of it, though. No, he's back. He's not leaving. Sweet. That's great to hear. Oh, my goodness. You guys think you try this recipe? Let me know. I was just curious. I mean, you can add to it. You can take away from it. But it won't be grandma's chili. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to let you all go. Thanks for hanging out. I'll hang out for a few more minutes. almost 45 now oh the big beans next time <laughs> you want just a vegetarian baked beans bud I can make an old bean chili too I guess what did Jersey say I don't cook fire start that way <laughs> Oh, I saw the cute picture of your doggy posted on Facebook there, Jason. Your girlfriend's doggy. That was cool. Mmm. I'm going to butter some bread. I can't. i got to grill shrimp. i got to grill shrimp, boil some rice. She wants some shrimp and rice. Be having some of this stuff. Maybe I'll get a smaller onion next time. Maybe that onion was too big. Man, did I cry my eyes out with that onion? Holy cow! I haven't done that in years. Oh, that's his girlfriend? Okay, thanks, Oz. Oh, the dog's his girlfriend? Oh. Wait, am I reading this wrong? Hold on. Oh, cool, Mud Swat. I hope you do try it. Like I said here, pause that. Let's get the uh, minced garlic, chili powder, one onion, one pepper, pound of hamburg, and three cans of stuff. You'll be good to go. Another 22 minutes to simmer. All right, less than 22. All right, guys, I'm going to head out and let this simmer for a while. I'm going to go cook my daughter some dinner. We'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. But hey, I'm going to be live in another uh, less than an hour. Uh, probably two hours. Sorry. In two hours, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight with a live premiere video of me flying that 1857 Flying Eagle one cent at that new cellar hole. Hopefully I'll see you there. See you in a couple hours. Later. Uh-oh, how do I end it? Oh, Mark's picture's in the way. Hold on. Have a good night. We'll see you in a couple hours.